No contact and letting go. Walk away forever. Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach. And today I'm talking about walking away, no contact and letting go forever. So the thing is with the no contact rule, um, letting go of your exes and walking away from your ex, things like that, is, you know, these kinds of things might not actually work. These kinds of things only work if your ex still loves you and still cares about you. And, you know, they will eventually reach out to you, basically, if you go into no contact with them, if they do still care about you, if they still do want you in their life. But, you know, there's no guarantee and no real way of actually knowing this. Um, So it's best to, you know, assume that when you are dumped, when you get rejected, when you go for a breakup, that your ex is never coming back. You need to come to that conclusion and you need to start living as if they're never coming back because that could be a true possibility. And if you live in hope and if you're kind of like crossing off the days or you are kind of keeping account of how many days it's been since you last contacted them. So you're kind of like crossing off the days on your calendar or you're saying things to yourself like it's been 40 days since the last time I spoke to her or him, or it's been 20 days since the last time I spoke to them. You know, if you're keeping track of how many days it's been, you're not emotionally there yet. You're not ready to let go of them. Um, So basically we're gonna talk about ways that you can actually start doing this, where you can get, get to that mindset of where you've actually started to assume that they're not coming back and you can actually let go of them and start walking away. So something to consider then is it will take time for you to emotionally let go of that person. It will take time. Like these things are not easy to get over, especially if the breakup was huge, especially if you've got a lot of emotions invested, especially if you've been thinking about them a lot recently. So if you've been thinking about them a lot, then of course it's gonna take you some time to get over them. You're not just gonna stop immediately. These things will continue to stew over in your brain for a little while, while you are on the path to healing and getting over it. If you're enjoying the video so far, then please leave a like on it and please do subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if there's anything you'd like me to discuss in a future video, then please let me know in the comments or if you have any tips and advice yourself. Thank you so much. So let's talk about then getting yourself on the right track. So you can start letting go and walk away and basically assume that this ex is not coming back. So you can start moving on and emotionally letting go. So some of the things that you may need to do is kind of take a look at how you're behaving and the things that you're doing. So, you know, if you're watching a lot of videos on the no contact rule, if you're watching a lot of videos on how to get your ex back, then, you know, obviously you're still kind of in the identity of someone who is not yet over their ex. So someone who is over their ex would be behaving and acting in a completely different way to someone, you know, who's, you know, doing the opposite of that, you know, looking up videos on how to get your ex back and things like that. So you need to start acting and behaving and watching and consuming things that are no longer in the state of mind of someone who isn't over their ex and in the state of mind of someone who is over their ex. So that means you watch videos perhaps on dating advice and dating tips. It could be that you're watching and consuming content on personal development and improving other areas of your life. It could be like on your hobbies or perhaps you want to start a side business. You know, you're looking at things that are the complete opposite of someone who hasn't who hasn't moved on. And that's kind of like how you can do that. So do yourself a favor and start doing those kinds of things, you know, um, because you're not helping yourself if you keep on watching videos on the no contact rule. If you keep on watching videos on um, how to get over your ex or how to get your ex back. Um, The best way, so if you want to get over your ex, if you want to get better and if you you know if you want to start letting go of that person and be able to walk away from them effectively you need to start doing things that people who are over their exes would do so someone who is over their ex wouldn't be looking up videos on how to get their ex back or the no contact rule they'll be looking up videos on dating tips and dating advice and um, becoming more like say you know uh, find out you know better ways to dress when you go on dates and, and things like that they will all be focused on finding a new partner, and of course, obviously, other areas of your life as well. I highly recommend that you watch this video on mastering yourself, how to enjoy your life, basically, while you are single. So another thing that you can do then is fill up your time, fill up your schedule with things that you enjoy doing that are good for you. 
because basically you don't want to be just sitting around moping at home creating environments for yourself basically where you're just gonna you know stew over your ex um, so basically you want to make the most of your time and do and use your time wisely so it might be if you're a student watching this it might be that after school you go to the gym or you go and hang out with your friends um, or if you're someone who works then perhaps you go to the gym or do something with your friends in the evening or it could be that you start working on a hobby that perhaps you want to turn into a side business things like that so start working on things in your life that are important to you that you would like to be doing because basically what I want for you is to be able to live the life that you've always wanted to live and basically when you kind of get into your head the kind of lifestyle that you would like to live you kind of need to figure out you know what do I need to do every day to get to that point what are the stepping stones that I can take each day to get me to that point because whether you like it or not, you know, the time is going to pass anyway. And basically, you don't want to be one of these people who in 10 years down the line or 20 years down the line, you kind of look at your life and think, why, what have I been doing with my life, basically? I, you know, I had these big dreams and goals that I wanted to do. And now I'm looking at my life and I just don't like it. I don't like where I am. So you want to make sure that you are kind of like doing those things day in and day out that can help you get to that place where you ultimately want to be. And by focusing on those things, by working on those things each day and scheduling it in and doing it, and so you're not sitting around, uh, sitting around twiddling your thumbs hoping for your ex to come back, um, it's going to put you in a better state emotionally, you're going to be focused, you're going to be in tune with your higher purpose, you know, and the things that you want to do with your life, you know, these things are all really going to help you um, move on from that person um, and start letting go and walking away effectively from this person. And who knows, perhaps down the road they will contact you in the future. But you know, what's there's either two things that are going to happen. The ex is either going to come back or you're going to find someone better, right? And those possibilities, you know, are there, you know, those things can happen, but you need to let go of that ex. You need to emotionally let go of the ex because that is just keeping you stuck and it's keeping you sad and upset and, and things like that. So obviously you don't want to be feeling that way anymore. So, you know, focus on those other areas of your life, schedule those things in, start looking up dating advice instead of things on getting your ex back on the no contact rule, because that's essentially what's going to start helping you get over it. Um, you can't keep your, and if you, if you're watching those kinds of things, like videos like what I create, then it's keeping you stuck in place. And I do have also a lot of dating advice videos on this channel as well. So if you're interested in that, then I highly recommend that you go and check those ones out as well. Um, this, I don't just have videos on how to get your ex back. There are other videos on, and the no contact rule, there are other videos on dating advice, you know, attractive qualities, things like that. So I highly recommend that you go and watch those videos as well. So you can start getting to that mindset of someone who is over their ex so you can do no contact effectively with them so you can walk away from them and you can let go of them and you can start basically on this new path to um, finding someone better potentially and that was my video on the no contact rule walking away and letting go of your ex thank you so much for watching and if you would like coaching with me then please go to www.christineloveridge.com thank you for watching and i shall talk to you guys again very soon goodbye